Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a regular octagon, and inside this regular oct octagon is a triangle which is formed by three diagonals inside. And since this is a regular octagon, then the sides should be equal. And we are required to find the area of the green region in this regular octagon okay so our strategy would be is to since this is a triangle then we need to find this vertical height this height and it should be perpendicular to this base and we also find the base and use the formula for the area of a triangle one half times base times height so finding this distance, let us call this distance as x. Okay, so since this is a regular octagon, then this distance is also 4 units. 4 units. And if we draw a line from this point to this, point that is perpendicular to the diagonal inside if this is for the side then this should be also for and since this is a as you can see this is actually 45 degrees since this is a regular octagon and since this is, this is also 45 degrees so since this is for then this should be 4 over square root of 2. And this is 4 over square root of 2 also. Okay, so to make things simpler is we need to rationalize this 4 over square root of 2. So Simply multiply this by square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2. So we have, this becomes 2. So 2, so this becomes 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we have 2 square root of 2. So that would be this distance, 2 square root of 2. Okay, so now, we use ratio and proportion to solve for x since this part, this is actually a right triangle, mm -hmm. this smaller triangle, and versus this larger triangle, this one. This mm -hmm. one. Okay. Okay, so for the smaller triangle, we have x over 4 plus 2 square root of 2. This is the small one. This distance x over this distance. This 2, this portion. That is 4 plus 2 square root of 2 is equal to this distance for so that would be 4 over the whole distance, this distance, this distance. And that is actually 4 plus 4 square root of 2. Because you need to add the 2, this 2, 2 square root of 2 and 2 square root of 2. So it becomes 4 square root of 2 plus 4. Okay, so next is we just need to cross multiply. This will become x is equal to 4 times 4 plus 2 square root of 2 all over 4 plus 4 square root of 2. We just retain the denominator on the right hand side. And we just multiply these two. 
Okay, so next is we factor out 4 in the denominator. So we have x is equal to 4 times 4 plus 2 square root of 2. And we factor this. We have 4 all over, I mean, times 1 plus square root of 2. And we cancel this 4. So we have x is equal to 4 plus 2 square root of 2 all over 1 plus square root of 2. Okay, so for the final step is we find the area of the triangle and if we are given the base and height, we can use this formula. 1 half times the base times the height. So area is equal to 1 half times the base, which is 4 plus 4 square root of 2 times the height, which is the one we calculated earlier. So we have 4 plus 2 square root of 2 all over 1 plus square root of 2. So we can actually factor this out. 4. So area is equal to 1 half times 4 times 1 plus square root of 2. And we can actually factor this out. This 2 for this part. So we have 2 times 2 plus square root of 2. Okay, all over. 1 plus square root of 2. So we can actually cancel this out. And we can cancel this out. So we have remaining area is equal to 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 4 square root of 2. Square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like a solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.